All right. Speaking of the Bears, let's go ahead and discuss it. Um, I, I think, you know, I, I'll go ahead and tell you, I think I'm a fan. You know, they went 8-8 eight and eight last year. Uh, they finally said adios to Trubisky. He is donezo, gone. They needed quarterback. They needed cornerback. They needed ta- uh, tackle, wide receiver, defensive tackle. And, uh, and you know, I, I think I think what they ended up doing, I'm okay with. They they trade mm-hmm. up, and they go ahead and go get their guy in Justin Fields. They they made sure, like, I, we were all a little shocked at, at the fact that Justin Fields was dropping, but I could understand it, right? And Chris, you and I talked on the show about this. We talked with the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Westlap Pirates guys about this, and Fields holds on to the ball for a long time. It takes him a while to process uh, the field as it's going, and it leads to more sacks. It leads to, like, that, but it's... It's something that you can get past. This is the same kind of thing as like a Ryan Tannehill situation. But he's way more athletic than Ryan Tannehill. So I think that you can work with him in your offense. He could even be the starter in week one, and I think they would be just fine. I think they would be improved over what they were last year. So you go up, you get Justin Fields at number one. You get tackled Tevin Jenkins out of Oklahoma State. That was an incredible value pick yeah, uh, I in round two. Yeah, that was a huge pick. But then... Yeah. They, they had to trade rounds three and four and whatnot. They get those out of the way, and then the rest are basically just flyers between five, six, and seven. They got Larry mm-hmm. Borum, offensive tackle out of Missouri. They got Khalil Herbert out of Virginia Tech, which I loved. Absolute love. He is a he's a lightning bolt. Um, Daz Newsom, wide receiver out of North Carolina. Again, lightning bolt, extreme playmaker. Uh, Thomas Graham. He's talking Jr. about just stupid athletes those yes. last two picks. Oh, yes. Speed galore. Yes, cornerback Thomas Graham Jr. out of Oregon in the sixth round, and with pick number 250, uh, Kiaris Tonga out of BYU, interior nice defensive job. lineman. He is uh, – all of these were were good. Like, I, I, I love mm-hmm. all of this. Thomas Graham opted love- out last season, but he he should have been a, a round two or three guy. He should have been a day two guy, and he dropped all the way to the sixth round. Uh, they, they got some value with these picks. Yeah, I love with the Bears. You could have stopped right there at one pick. They could have traded their whole draft for one pick, taken Justin Fields, and the Bears won the first round. Plain and simple. Listen, you cannot go into the season with Andy fucking Dalton as your quarterback. Andy Dalton is absolute trash on the field, especially in a primetime game. You do not want to go watch the Bears play on Monday Night Football as a Bears fan with Andy Dalton as your quarterback. You're going to get beaten 40-3. to He's going to throw four interceptions. Justin Fields absolutely 100% has to start game one. Matt Nagy knows it. Ryan Pace knows it. Their jobs are on the line, and for once, this front office did something good, and I agree. I love the Tevin Jenkins pick in round two. I thought the Bears absolutely killed it getting Justin Fields. I was really proud of them. I was happy for Bears fans. Uh, great job by the Bears. You could not, And they were even taunting their fans. I'm like, this is a dangerous game you guys are playing, t- tweeting out Andy Dalton. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing, but everyone knows the red rifle is more like the red water pistol. He's cost me so much money. If Andy Dalton <laughs> was on the side of the road in the snow, broken down, and he had three little kids wrapped up in aluminum blankets, I swear to you on my life, I would spray snow on them and drive right past and enjoy every single second of it. Can't stand Andy Dalton. Great job by the Bears getting Justin Fields. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, yeah. This is a little bit of a mixed bag for me. Like, this is a weird thing. You're talking about an organization that I really like and I have my entire life. But you're talking about a front office and a man in Ryan Pace that I loathe. And I, well, it's not that I hate yeah. him. I think he has been awful at his job. And mm-hmm. to allow him to give away the picks that they had to give and do all the things that they had to do to get fields – and now we're sure. going to claim him the conquering hero? No, 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 no. No, he still mm-hmm. needs to be hurled into the river, all right? <laughs> I, I just can't handle it. I can't have Ryan Pace marching down the streets of Chicago and people heralding him as the man that went and got Justin Fields. Because if you look at all the draft picks that he has pissed away and wasted, <laughs> all the salary cap that they have paid, they traded away all the picks for Trubisky. They traded away picks and assets for Nick Foles and then paid Nick Foles a shit ton of money. They oh. just signed Andy Dalton to another contract, pissed away money. All of these things this organization does. And then they finally do one thing right. And now mm-hmm. we're going to, now we're going to crown them heroes. No, no, I can't live in that <laughs> world. I can love fields. I can love this team, but I can still think that man is a bumbling idiot. And he's just one of the guys that said, 
everybody's letting this guy fall. I don't think he should fall. We're going to go get him. Congratulations. Yeah. You're not the biggest moron that day. Every other yeah. day of the year, you're the biggest moron. Okay. So I love the draft. I like what they did. I hate Ryan Pace. I think he's terrible at his job. And if this pans out and this organization wins the Super Bowl, they should still celebrate by throwing his ass into the river. <laughs> Hey, by the way, Andy Dalton was not awful last year. Andy Dalton was not awful. Andy. The hatred for Andy Dalton has gone too far, by it, the way. It certainly oh, has. You have never, you've never had a $100,000 right. $100, lineup on Monday night football. All Andy fault. Dalton has to do is complete That's your fault. There's passes. not a day in my life that oh. I've ever bet on Andy Dalton. That's on yeah, you, I'm, bro. That's on I you. Know, Why the hell are you betting idiot. on Andy fucking Dalton? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I'll never do it again. And I preach it. You would have heard, should have heard the people last year, Andy Dalton starting Monday night football. I said, I promise you the Cowboys are going to get stomped. How could you, you don't know anything about Andy Dalton on primetime. I've watched plenty of oh, Andy yes. Dalton on primetime, unless it's 10 AM on Sunday morning in Cincinnati. He can't do shit. Plain and simple. He is God awful. God awful. He uh, had 64.9% completion percentage last year, 14 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Uh, QBR was not great, uh, 53.8. No, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think it was that bad. I mean, they went 4-5. Four, four of the six games that they won last season were under him. You know, yeah, I mean, sixty-four percent completions with the three, the best wide receiver trio in the league. It wasn't even close when you had. I mean, yeah. And he still, I mean, it's painful to watch him drop back. It just makes my skin crawl when I see that guy under center. Oh God, Andy Dalton. <laughs> and I do agree, right? I don't know who the bigger moron is. Is it Mama Bear who allowed those two idiots to keep their job, or is yeah, it? But uh, she's Ryan like a Pace? ninety-year-old lady, though, so you can't blame yeah. her. I mean, she this is still going on. Moron. Yeah, well, hang on now. This is this is like some <laughs> con artist from from some foreign country calling and scamming your grandma. Okay, like yeah, you don't blame grandma for that. You blame those sons of bitches. Yeah, that's They're just con artists, conning an old lady, conning yep. old ladies. Uh, I don't even know how to transition that over to the Minnesota Vikings, <laughs> but we will do our best. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.